Diablo 4 features five distinct classes to choose from, each with their own unique playstyle and feel. Let's explore each class individually so you can make the right choice, starting with the Barbarian. This class is all about bringing the fight to your enemies and delivering punishing blows, while also being able to take some damage yourself. You'll be able to swap your weapons on the fly to tackle a variety of different situations, ensuring you're always equipped for the task at hand. These weapons can range from giant two-handed axes to dual-wielding razor-sharp swords. Certain abilities require two-handed weapons, whilst others require dual-wielding. Being able to carry four weapons at a time and swap between them allows you to take a versatile approach and utilize many different skills. Some examples of the skills the Barbarian has access to is a variety of different shouts, which feature a range of buffs and debuffs, amplifying you and your party's damage or durability. Rallying Cry is one of the shouts you'll have access to, and on cast it will free you and your party members from CC, coming in clutch in some serious dangerous situations. If you plan on playing hardcore, this one can save your life. These shouts both look and sound awesome and really fit the theme of playing a barbaric badass. <laughs> Another skill you'll have access to is Whirlwind. This iconic ability transforms you into a Beyblade of Death and has been featured across many different Blizzard titles. It is so much fun to use, I can't recommend it enough. If you like in-your-face action wielding some kick-ass weapons and bringing the fight to your enemies while also being a durable threat at all times, the Barbarian may be the perfect class for you. This will be the class I plan on maining and can't wait to channel my inner Beyblade. Next up, let's take a look at nature's best friend, the Druid. If the idea of transforming into a mighty bear or ferocious werewolf sounds incredibly appealing, then the Druid may be the perfect class for you. The Druid not only possesses the ability to shapeshift, but also excels as a formidable shaman. They can harness the raw power of nature, commanding storms and manipulating the earth with astonishing prowess. With their dual nature as both shapeshifter and shaman, druids become a force to be reckoned with in Diablo 4. In bear form, the druid excels at crowd control and can withstand a significant amount of damage. That's not to say while in bear form they can't pump because trust me, with the right build they can deal some serious damage. Speaking of damage, the werewolf form is the bread and butter of the druid. While in werewolf form, your primary focus as a druid will be to increase your attack speed and utilize lifesteal, allowing you to effortlessly shred through your enemies. And if that wasn't convincing enough, you can even summon animal companions to aid you in battle. These loyal companions can take the form of wolves, ravens, or vine creepers providing you with additional support and further enhancing your combat capabilities. Druids are a formidable threat and an extremely versatile class, offering a suite of both offensive and defensive skills with many different ways to build them. This makes druids a worthwhile consideration for any party composition, and you should definitely consider bringing one with you. I'll also note that while playing a druid in the early game, you can feel rather weak, but don't let that discourage you because you'll scale extremely well into the late game. So what are you waiting on? Go pick a druid, turn into a bear, and fuck some shit up. You can thank me later. Let's take a closer look at everyone's favorite spellcaster, the Sorceress. The Sorceress possesses the extraordinary ability to command the elements of fire, ice, and lightning, enabling them to unleash devastating spells that rain down on the battlefield. During my time with the beta, this was one of my favorite classes to play. Boasting incredible burst damage, exceptional mobility, and near limitless outplay potential, this is a class designed to test your skills and take time to truly master. Your fire spells apply a serious burn resulting in scorching damage over time effects, while your ice spells wither your enemies with frostbite causing an increasingly potent slow effect, and with enough stacks can result in completely freezing your opponent. Lastly, your lightning spells exude mobility and leave behind orbs of crackling energy to pick up restoring your mana. They also gain access to enchantment a unique class ability allowing for three extra slots of abilities outside the normal six, resulting in a total of nine abilities. However, abilities placed into enchantment slots are no longer active skills, but instead provide powerful passives related to that skill. For example, there is one ability when used as an enchantment that can periodically cast Meteor onto random nearby foes. It's extremely strong. The Sorceress is also capable of using the Arts of Conjuration. Summoning a plethora of interesting familiars, including three-headed hydras that can deal an insane amount of damage. 
This is one of the most fun and interesting spellcasters in any ARPG and a class I cannot recommend highly enough. If you prefer magical over physical combat or are even slightly interested in playing a sorceress, do yourself a favor and do so. They're extremely rewarding and you'll have a blast, literally. Emerging from the shadows, the rogue is a class designed with clever mechanics that can outplay your opponents with ease. Specializing in both melee and ranged combat, this class is a perfect fit for those who are looking to take the fight directly to your enemies or stay back from afar and kite them to death. Capable of immense maneuverability and swiftness, they are tough to lock down and very slippery. This level of movement will not only prove beneficial getting away from tricky encounters in PvE, but I expect them to shine in the Fields of Hatred, Diablo 4's PvP system as well. The Rogue is able to access a variety of different traps and imbues, allowing you to change your strategy on the fly. Need to coat your weapons with poison? No problem. How about frost to slow and freeze your opponents? Yep, you have that covered as well. The best part about the Rogue in Diablo 4 is they feel more than just your typical Rogue class. It's like playing several classes in one, mixing both Assassin and Amazon gameplay into a class that just feels right. Blizzard has once again done a fantastic job using elements from their other games such as World of Warcraft, creating a combo point system that is very rewarding to use. This allows your basic attacks to add combo points and certain skills to consume combo points for additional effects. So if you're looking for a skillful class that boasts incredible agility, melee and range combat, or a bag of different tricks to utilize, look no further than the Rogue. Just don't go using that tricky dicky shit on me in PvP and we'll be good. Rising from the dead, the Necromancer is all about commanding an army of undead to execute your will. Wielding both the powers of darkness and blood, this class does a fantastic job living up to its fantasy of making you feel like a conjurer of the damned. They are also the only class capable of wielding scythes. I mean, come on, that alone is worth playing the class. Scythes are fucking awesome. Harnessing the power of the Book of the Dead, this unique necromancer mechanic allows you to customize your minions and how they behave. This allows for freedom to play how you want. Will you command your minions to serve as a buff to your overall power or act on their own as an unstoppable force? The choice is yours. Some of the minions you'll have access to are skeletal warriors, skeletal mages, and golems, each serving with their own purposes. For example, you can set your skeletal warriors to be fast attacking skirmishers that have increased damage but reduced life. Or you can have them to become your defenders, which have bonus life but less damage. This level of control over your army of the dead allows you to fine tune a build that perfectly captures your intended playstyle. There's also some really awesome abilities such as turning into a pool of blood or exploding corpses for massive AoE burst damage. This is the Necromancer class done right and if that's something that you've been looking for, go ahead and pick the Necromancer. Just make sure you don't go around messing with the dead bodies or anything like that cause that's nasty. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more kick-ass Diablo 4 content.